Cats just ended her stream. Neat. The uh, captions are actually working, although it has a little bit of trouble with my voice. That is good to know. Also, like just about everybody, I have uh, had to ban a whole bunch of uh, bots, so it is what it is. I say as I forget to uh, unmute the game. Now, I'm not real sure I actually want to do that mission. I think that... Well... I think I can do these? Maybe? Yeah, because I have the level 6 now, so I can get into where those require me to be now. Also, it is weird to me that hitting M opens up, like, your inventory and shit. in protective studies. Also, what was this that we couldn't get into? Like, I know this was a level 6 door into here. Which was a pain in the ass because the, the security logistics door is apparently not open right now. But we'll first see if this one is open. But also, if this just isn't... If I end up not having fun, and I think the reason, real reason I ended up not having fun uh, last time was because I was doing optional content, and optional content just... isn't really the stuff I give a shit about here. I say, despite, you know, doing more optional content here. Where is... Oh. I think one of the real reasons I like that power is because I don't have to aim. As I have shown several times, aiming is not exactly one of my fortes. So this was just for a chest, if I remember correctly. I was double checking because it takes, well, if, if you could actually jump over the stuff, it would take two seconds, but... Say la vie. So 
is... Yeah, the rev duck is right there. But it doesn't seem to be... Nothing we can do seems to let us interact with it. And this is just a... Thing. Yeah, we, we listened to all of this before. I'm just trying. Yeah, it does not seem to uh, have an obvious path to it, so fuck it. I guess this one depends on, on where the hell folks are. Doesn't it? Ah. Well, they're not necessarily near near good points, but this seems like it'll be way more interesting than uh, trying to fuck around with that door for five minutes has been. I like how every time I'm facing the wrong direction. Gracious ranger buddies. I should find the others. Well, that was nice and easy. Oh, I suppose what we're mostly doing this for is the jukebox tokens, aren't we? Mud's fall, huh? Interesting. Now, I know the low health ones are very, very strong, but because they have some issues. I mean, it's it's much the same as the headshot damage. They're they're real strong, but I'm never going to be able to use them. I'm not that good at these these games. I am glad that the uh, sorting works the way that I wanted it to. Such that I can just get rid of the actual extras. I wish we could get. We were getting a new. Uh, just generic plus damage. I think, given the fact that most of the time I am actually using the aim, though, uh, doubling up on that's probably a better call. And I wish it, you know, kind of told me how much fucking damage that was doing. But. Oh, okay, so. We have to go fast backwards for that. And honestly, in that case, I don't think that's worth it. I think I'm just going to keep going forward with the actual, uh. intended stuff.
I hate that there's no... To the best of my knowledge, logistics is the best way towards this. And I hate it. If my voice sounds a little bit odd, it it, uh, it is a little bit sore. I'm not sure why. Uh, it just has been all day, so. But yeah, these, for whatever reason, only one of these is open. And I couldn't seem to get it open from the other side, even though that is gettable somehow. But of course, that means... I think we have to go up the stairs or some bullshit. I don't I don't fully remember. I know logistics is the way to get there, but uh fuck if I remember how to. Well, it'd be somewhere over here, wouldn't it? So Probably this? Or no. Okay, so I think it is actually forward and then somewhere to the left. Oh, there. No, that's a restroom. It does not have any items in it. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Ah. I'm just blind. Surprising no one. I'm surprised that didn't, uh... take out two of them. If I'm being honest. Given that they were basically stacked up. Ah. We can open this shit now. Get, uh... This... And this... Levitation ammo efficiency. That's an interesting one. And open the shortcut. Well... I say shortcut, but it's... It is minor at best. I suspect its major value is just in the fact that it is... Uh, not as likely to have enemies. Since the the corridors are, are much are pretty close together. I forgot how creepy the medical wing was. So I didn't really check out the bottom here last few times. Which is the reason why, you know, needed to take forever. That wasn't a, I had seen that before or something. That was a, I had assumed there was a way to open it and just, by the time I had gotten into security the last few times, had utterly forgotten about it. And that's open. I like that I can tell from a distance. Some of the some games had have chests where you really can't. Ah, so that's that's for that. I thought there was. I thought the place where what's his face had died was also a level six. That might be him. I don't really remember. So 
surprised that didn't kill him on the way in. Or on the way to my hand. So those are highest concern, owing to the fact that very few other things are likely to cause serious damage the way those are. Ah, and that uh, was hiding. Indeed, it's still hiding, but fortunately, not a huge deal to Break through that. Oh, that's just a lamp. Okay, so that's just telling me I need to kill more things. Interesting architecture, very, uh, I see it. I assume there was just one. It appears to be it. Looks like we actually can't. I was gonna say we actually can't traverse it, but. I think this classifies as more than a few dozen. Also, I suppose this that what we're actually doing here is the mannequin side. So in that case, might want to uh, have that active, just in the off chance that it uh, actually provides me with any information. That's interesting. Really wish we had a flashlight. I'm surprised that the emergency supplies are just, like, not relevant, apparently. Stepping to the 
Ah, excellent. I love these terrible little plays. voices are actually really annoying me today. Some brains can talk to each other. We call this ESP. ESP? <laughs> Some brains can lift objects like a baseball. Like a baseball. Talk about a fly ball, eh, Meg? So who cares if you fail your clairvoyance test? Maybe your brain can throw baseballs, or talk to dead people, or make friends blind. Once we know what your brains can do, we'll know what job to give you. And if your brains are just right, you'll get to sit in the big chair. <laughs> That's <laughs> okay. That that is actually a big chair. What if Relative I to the puppet. The big chair? Too bad. What if I don't want the big chair? Everyone wants the big chair, Meg. That's why we're all here. Use those brains to listen for once, or the only chair you'll get in is the one with straps. Kind of locked. And by kind, I mean severely. I do kind of hate that because that I takes... things had gone differently in ordinary for us. Wishing won't change things. Finding the projector will. A new object of power, something we have not seen before. I mean, coming from me, that's... Um, does show that, you know, wall. Is this what Dylan wanted me to see? It doesn't matter. We need to find that projector. We used to play there all the time. Me and Dylan. What? Other kids. We loved it. This time... One day I'll remember that tab is, in fact, the correct thing for that. How, oh, pray fuck, do we get to the turntable? That's not relevant. Oh, I guess that opened this. Was, was there anything in these? No, I guess the answer to that one is... No. There might be, but it's not obvious anyway. That's not where I thought I was headed. I 
studied what happened in ordinary here. That's the place to start looking. I apparently got turned around at some point in time. Hmm. These ones actually- well, I mean, the melee always hurt. Should check out my personal mods. Might have a better launch mod. Also, I'm real glad that, uh, apparently, after all this time... Huh. There really wasn't a... Eh, interesting. I was gonna... Well, we could upgrade Shatter, which is... Uh... Want to, we want to construct a charge eventually. Just so I can see what the fuck it is, if nothing else. Wait. Interesting. And that's useful because it, you know, gets rid of... Uh, source, so we don't waste it by dying. Now we don't need to give a shit about this. I wish that effect was used more, rather than, you know, like the actual dozens of times that we've seen it in the Longer than expected they studied what happened in amount of time here. I've played this. That's the place to start looking. Uh, if I'm being entirely honest, I really expected this game ultimately to be pretty short. does not quite kill them. But a shot and that does, which is good. We are falling behind a little bit in damage, but uh I guess it is what it is. Also, they keep giving me mods that just seem like they are fucking pointless. Wait, what's... Huh. From Room with a flashing light, you'd think there'd be something of value. Surprisingly, I were both prime candidates. Just needed to back up.
Fuck you, game. Oh, and this will probably... Yeah. I was going to say, this will probably be a uh, cleanse point. I was expecting it to be further back that way, though. Also, I couldn't think of the word cleanse. Level six door. That probably means it is something. Oh, hello, da. Interesting. That one feels very doom. Like in a good way. But I should probably also bring up the caveat of... I've not played Modern Doom. <laughs> So when I say Doom, I'm talking, you know, also like Duke Nukem, Wolfenstein 3D, that type of stuff. There's gotta be a way to rotate these tracks. There's a control panel nearby. Well, that tells me that it's probably somewhere down there. Because they love using Mr. Flickery with spots you need to go to. Because who doesn't have, you know, who doesn't like putting the uh, severe accessibility concern near spots you uh, need to go to? Pretty sure, based off of recent history, if there's not severe accessibility concerns, you can't win certain awards. Hmm. Huh. I was unaware those could be uh, destroyed. I figured it was worth a shot, but. Ah, and that has reinforcements, so... <laughs> that damage is really concerning. Well, 
what is concerning is that I would kind of expect us to be able to get into one of these areas since it's turned this way. Or that this or some part of it above or below would uh, turn it So, I mean, it's called the fucking turntable for a reason, I assume. anything in here, and I don't think there was anything up above, which was the real part that struck me as odd. Oh, I missed? No, I missed a file, not- and a button. And eventually we'll be able to get over there, I assume. Yeah, I mean, it says question marks for both of those, so... Interestingly, I actually assumed that that, that would go up. Something about that, uh... Rip my head is that's the way it would open. There are several paths to take here. I am an idiot. This surprises no one. Sometimes the camera really does not like it when you, uh... ...use the fly. What the fuck? Oh, is this the fucking invisible enemy? Yeah, this fucking thing. No idea how the fuck the game wants me to fight those. Beyond, of course, that it do. sure, but this one doesn't tell me it's a fucking hidden area. Could have probably just shot that thinking about it. 
But it's fine. I have multi launch for a reason. Mostly for the energy recharge, if I'm being honest, but. You know, not, not every ability that we get has to have a good reason behind it. Fun. I saw too. Is hmm. Oh, that might actually be an improvement for uh, stuff. Mostly I'm just checking to see if there was a, a reason for... Oh, that opened that elevator. Okay, yeah, both of them are, are level are plus 35 now. So of course I don't don't pick the correct one. I should keep the level three around. But the other not so useful. I do love that the objects of power here are, you know, mostly innocuous things. Oh, you game. I also love that after we, you know, kill everything, we, uh, tend to get a very large, uh, number of the health things because they're all, like, right beyond where our collection radius is, uh, in combat. Let's... I occasionally use it un unaimed, but I think that would be most useful as for the third slot once we unlock that. And we might have a better version of that once, uh, once that is the case. I assume that's not even supposed to catch you unawares. You're listening to America Overnight, celebrating the Because that was like a really obvious trap there. This, though.
Hey, I have also been told to, uh... Annual evaluation of Dylan Faden, formerly P6, performed by Dr. Colavon. The questions asked here correspond to... Interesting. Uh, not swear, uh, when calling into a radio broadcast. As, as might be, you know, somewhat obvious by the language I am using here. I, uh, I swear a lot. Gonna pause for a sec. Sorry about that. My uh, my headphones were just getting really fucking sweaty. Let's see what they have on ordinary. It's all here. Our home, our school, the woods, the dump. Fuck you, game. So the reason I, I said fuck you game on that one was twice I was about to fire and then ran into something. Because it's not like I have actual any level of you know 3D fucking awareness while I'm floating around because the camera's not far enough back. You mentioned a poem last time we talked. By Thomas Zane? Yes. Beyond the shadow and the camera's not actually that reactive, so it getting a little bit closer doesn't really help that much. I mean, it could be worse, though. Moved the whole landfill here in the middle of New York. Nobody saw a thing. Pretty unbelievable. There have been uh, games where instead of, you know, having it be focused around the head as the translation target, it has been focused around the hips, which is a little bit awkward. Although I suppose it makes a little bit more sense if you're doing it that for a controller. I was going to say, did I get turned around? I didn't think I did. I did. Impressive. Very, very impressive. I got turned around in the space of four feet. I went into here and got turned around. Because I, I was talking about the camera.
And that gamer was astoundingly useless. So the <laughs> the enemy taking a while to uh, come in was was the last enemy, and because they took so long to come in, they just weren't relevant because they couldn't survive three uh, three launches. I don't know who the fuck thought these things would be uh, so useful, but I guess they're they're useful for cash, if uh, if nothing else. I do wish I had more uh, personal slots, though. Effective immediately. I'm setting up a new department. Dimensional research in the research sector. Uh, transferring the slide projector there. That's where my focus will be now. The ordinary site remains as is. We'll be back to... I, I don't know when. Darlin took the projector to the research sector. He dedicated a whole area to it, so he knew it was important. Dimensional research. That's where we go next. It's going to be real interesting when we find out that, uh, as the protagonist, no, not, not her. Us, the actual player character, the, uh... Fucked up thing. Is, uh, is the actual baddie. And by fucked up, I mean, you know... Like, that's what they're shooting for us to expect by now, so... Not a huge deal if it does happen. Um, based off the fact that they have set up that expectation, though, I expect it to not actually be the case. Because it's one of those deals of... Certain games have set up this kind of expectation of the... Villains will talk to your characters and tell them the truth because they don't they don't have the, a huge reason to lie, but These ones do Wait a second Ah Guess it was just beyond this And we can get some new abilities. That doesn't seem too useful, but the large enemies, maybe. And the large objects. Assuming they do more damage. 
that's not necessarily a guarantee. I do find it amusing, though, that I'm... Shield? Nah. Fuck it. Seize? Eh. Who gives a shit? Levitation? It lasts long enough. I'll... Maybe get it eventually. I suppose this is where you're supposed to get your, uh... Thingamajigs. What's the other door of the, uh, Ritual Division? Also, I wonder if the... Rubber Duck is, uh, accessible now. Oh, it's probably actually going to be related to the uh, projector, if I had to guess. I have to assume that that's going to, like, be able to, uh... Yeah, because I've tried shooting at, at that glass. sitting there going, well, I broke other glass, but no, that's not the same, same animal. Interesting. So, we need something that, uh, Oh shit, that, uh... Oh, I guess those aren't it. I figured since, uh... Fuck you. Uh, those... I had not actually figured that you could go into those before. That might be, uh, relevant, but... No, those appears, appear to just be ceiling indents. I was going to check out what the other thing from protective, st or not protective studies, ritual division was. Admittedly, I might not be able to, no, oh, no, I can open it. I know why I can open up. Because one of our missions... Self-reflection? Locate the mirror. Yeah. So we couldn't open it before, and yeah, it's telling me to go down there pretty obviously. 
which is all the more reason not to right now. I know I said that I would be avoiding optional content, but this seems just as likely to be just as interesting uh, gameplay-wise. I mean, worst case scenario. Fuck you, too, game. Eh? So I assume we actually need to have some... ...number of these open will thus, uh... ...be accessible. But it's probably related... Huh, I have... I have bad memories of this already. Mostly because I'm fucking dumb. Looks like there's a mirror in there. Mm-hmm. Okay, so... I need to figure out which... side that's supposed to be. And set that. Or is that reflecting what it currently is? I can't tell. So the two near need to be down and the, the far one needs to be up. The shutters in the image look different. Yeah, yeah. Fuck you too. For this one. And I figured there was a distinct possibility that I had that bass backwards, but, uh... we became Swedish. Fate worse than a fate worse than death. Okay, that was bad of me. That that one was, was legitimately terrible. Uh... I deserve this. Um, okay, so I assume we need to be one of those. Hey, I guess we already figured out what the thing looked like. Also, there's several ones, so... Good fucking luck knowing which one it's supposed to be. 
Okay, so the tops, and then it's a square on the inside. Uh, towards the bottom left. Ah, fully filled in. Interesting. Okay, so that's that's actually in the same same thing as what the one image is showing. I don't think the other one actually works. Although maybe we need to have it reversed, which we'd had multiple times. So no, that that won't be the case. if that's actually relevant to anything. For all I know, it's not. And we got these mannequins for... I mean, like, my expectation would be that that door is useful for something. But what did that sign say? Mirror testing. Ah, so we need to go to each one of these. Isage. Good. That's not good.
Better be all of them. That explains why they locked this mirror up. Yeah, it probably killed everybody. I'm still curious about this though. I suppose it's like a one time chance to get the item, but eh, so fucking what? It can't be anything that good or else. Hero was doing with this thing. You would, you know, presumably have multiple chances to get it. Was actually interesting though. And a fun little fight. Ah, I see. The, because that would be the spot you would get to from the elevator. So, yeah. do a lot of fucking damage. Hmm? Ah. So I guess that's the correct... Presumably. Interesting. Okay, so it was reversed. The fact that you need to get the center items location right means that frequently you're just fucking flailing around with those things after a certain point, which sucks. Yeah, I think Central Research has a... is right there. As far as where we actually need to go.
It's nice that the enemies are uh, at least pretty weak. I was just curious where it would lead, but it looks like it just leads back here. So. It is nice that it at least lets us, uh, know. Hey! No, you got no chance in fucking hell. Uh, vents. The captions are doing their best, but, uh, the slight lisp that I have probably is not helping matters. I expected a fight in here. There's no Arty. Now this boy left, said the son of Anniki Daddy. My assistant will keep work in the club and the house standing. Lomille lumps, holiday humps. How can anyone even get out of here while the building's sealed? Let alone go on a holiday. Well, you see... Adi is probably not... You know, human. Where the fuck am I even going? Oh no. I am somewhat amused by the fact that you can't jump, but can walk off, which seems an odd choice. This is probably not correct. I'm probably supposed to go over to the furnace chamber and then through that to the pumps. Oops. Although this looks like it might be going to the correct spot. Which would surprise me.
maybe into the pipe works? I kind of doubt it, but since it does just say coolant pumps. But there's not really an obvious. Maybe I need to kill everything. I do like using the enemy's corpses against them. That's definitely a positive. But these enemies just keep respawning, so... I guess the question is, what the fuck does it actually want me to do? Unfortunately, doesn't take a hell of a lot of these to uh, get back to full health, and I mean, there's all sorts of them around. Maybe Pumpworks was right. Maybe up there? So, how, are, how is this going to work this time? Interesting. So, presumably we need to change all of the radios to green. And that'll kill the beast in room A. Ah, yeah, and that'll give us the key. What did that give us the key to? Yeah. 
Prisma 16. Mm-hmm. In fact, that's not interactable either. Do we need to switch it back so that things are interactable again? That'd be weird, but... No, this should still not... Hmm... Did something break? Something tells me something might have broken. So what I'm checking here is to see if it... Yeah, no, the fact that we can't click that again. I don't really care about the potential lost progress. I care about... Uh, the game seems to have uh, broken there. And if, if that is not the case, then it's not the case, and not a big deal. Should only be like a minute or two of lost progress. Just need to go from the prior. I was hoping it would be... Not, not necessarily from a checkpoint. So actually, I'm pretty sure that the furnace chamber is... Yes, it's given that it's called the coolant pump's entrance. Um, yeah. That's not right. So I'm curious if it's just as soon as you ring that. No, I can still look like that. And if it's a specific order or something, that's uh. 
strange. It seemed like that it was probably after I had taken damage that it, uh, all got fucked up. Because what I suspect is the case is you, that's probably supposed to kill you and just, if for whatever reason, it just didn't do enough damage. And when it kills you, it probably just sends you back to the start of the thing, because it's, it's probably not like a real death. I mean, on the other hand, the game hasn't been really good about that type of shit, so... Maybe it does actually heal you. No, as soon as you pick up those keys... Interesting. Okay, so let's change it so just the ones on the sill are uh, active. To mirror the... Uh, This room. Since it only has the one. Hmm. Okay. Now I'm really not sure what the fuck. Actually, ah, uh, fuck you. So I was just over fucking thinking because it was the black doors the entire goddamn time. So there wasn't a bug at all. And fuck me, I guess. Interesting. Actually, I probably want to use the ability to level up to get the launch large objects. And... Probably some more health. I mean, that final health one's probably not going to be worth it, so I'll probably be spending it on energy for a couple times, but...
can't believe they actually made those real, uh, real walls. And it's especially weird that they made them real walls, given that fucking falling out of bounds for that type of shit has never been a concern. You fall, you die. Surprise the shit out of me. Ah. So we probably want to activate that. Which. Okay. I do like just being able to one-shot enemies with, I mean, either of my options. Not sure why this uh, fight just kept going the fuck on. <laughs> Aside from they really wanted you to have a super tedious fight. So my brain can't look at this and view it as anything other than it's going to fucking fall.
Like, now would be a fine time for that. Because I think this would be about the limit of default levitation dashing. Oh, neat. It actually turns off your uh, ability to do a jump there. It's almost like taking away the player's abilities for stuff is bad games. I can fucking make NPCs immortal for all I give a shit. Or don't let me fire at them. Don't take away my fucking abilities for chicken shit reasons. And these are the most chicken of shit. So I suspect that the speed run bumps up levitation duration for this part. Upside, at least now I know why the fuck the fight was so goddamn tedious, because they followed up with the most boring, shitty fucking tram ride known to mankind. I should have known that when I couldn't jump in the goddamn little fucking lift and I don't trust that little fucking gap like even though the gun's out can't jump which should have been my first indicator Those are actually real. Genuinely surprised by that. Well, 
Yeah. Where's our fucking control point so I never have to do that shit ever again? Nowhere? Got it. There's something up ahead. Do you see it? I kind of appreciate the idea that he's just finished rather than uh, anything else. Body? And as a Finn, he is thus batshit insane. <laughs> Did you miss me? Did you have peace in your song? Yes. <laughs> no, 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 no. Bark don't make a moon. You did good. Take my cassette player. You can borrow it. The song is a present from my friends to you. It will get you through the maze so you can do your job. Did that really just happen? Of course it did. He gave me his cassette player. It'll get me through the maze, huh? The janitor always has the keys. So that sucked. That was exceedingly tedious. Made worse spent by my impatient impatience, admittedly, but. At least the music's pretty good. Well, I say good, but it's it's pretty mid-tier metal. Rocky. Which some people take as an insult, which I never got. I mean, Butt Rock is, is... It got fucking huge.
I like shooting the enemies that are on the ground. One of the problems I frequently have with aiming in this, which doesn't always make a hell of a lot of sense, is the reticle looks like it's aiming at a different spot zoomed in versus... zoomed out. No, you, you, you can keep that on. That was awesome. Projector. Here's a mission of the Slidescape 36. What Darling brought back changed everything. Yeah, you want me here. Finding the projector was how this all began. What started in ordinary ends here. You, me, Dylan. We've all come full circle. Ah, the drone resonance lab. Why is there a whole bunch of orange dirt here? There was a doorway here, to where Dylan and I went, where the projector took us, where we met you. The bureau opened the same door here, but there's just an echo now. Are you close? Just on the other side? There's no projector here. Moved again. What Which is why the door's not here. I've got to find out. Ah, that locks us down. The projected image from each slide is a, a physical portal into another dimension. Only one slide remains. Dylan's sister burned the rest in ordinary before we could intercept. 
the text on it, color slide film, this side towards screen, and, and the number 36. The topography of slidescape 36 bears deep wave marks. On the slide and in the distance, there's a formation of five pillars, like crude, outstretched fingers. There were casualties on our first expedition. Communication is an issue. There is no sound there, as if you've gone deaf. And radios don't work. Correction, a resonance from an unknown source, in part within the range of audible frequency. Neat. So, presumably, it was taken to the lab. Oops. Does this take it? Up or down? Well, presumably it will once there's power to it take us up or down, but right now it doesn't do deck. Say Libby. Weird that it looks powered on aside from just not working though. You have something genuinely? I think these are the worst fucking puzzles. Because I could be one thing if it was just okay, so. Yeah, it's one of the two circled things. But it's probably not gonna be. Gonna be some variation thereof. Let's try the bottom one first. Cause that's easy. Oh. Oh, we need to. Expedition three. We located the source of the resonance in Slidescape 36. It is an entity, a living organism of a considerable mass. I I've named it Hedron based on its physical shape. Hedron? We, 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 we built Was a that for it. you? Did he bring you here? Is that why you brought me here? You're here. You're here. They have you. I know you. I remember her from ordinary. I thought I'd never see you again. Hang on, I'm coming. So how do we even get down there? This is...
I suspect this, by which I mean probably the player character, is the cause of most of our problems thus. Ah, so now the hiss will take over. The Hedron. This was a mistake. Mods are full. This is a perfect time to be doing this, for the record. I don't know what you're talking about. No better time to be doing this than right now. I appreciate the decision to make uh, each one of these take longer than a watching a Passion of the Christ. Or, well, longer than any of my watchings of, Passions of the Christ, Passion of the Christ. I suppose that says something about me rather than uh, how long the cutscene is. Hell yeah. The helium drone. So I assume that there are going to be, after the first three, an additional at least three. Because that, that makes sense. God, I fucking hate when we have movement, but I don't have camera control. fucking health orbs. Of 
course, I've been bitching about this, but really, this, this has been pretty fun. That being said, I think I'm going to leave this for next time. Mainly because my shoulder is just killing me. I might have slept on it wrong. It might have been the fact that I don't normally do uh, first-person shooters, and I've been playing for, you know, two hours. So, thank you for watching, and uh, I will see you next time, which should be Thursday.